Hi, I'm Sidney Pollack. You know, a man tells no lies at midnight. And furthermore, a man could spend the rest of his life trying to remember what he shouldn't have said. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up, you know, otherwise I just keep doing it. I'm, I'm quoting lines from our next movie. It's one of the essentials. The movies that you have to see to qualify as a fully equipped classic movie fan. And I'm talking about a movie called Force of Evil. It was the first and nearly the last movie, both written and directed by a terrific man named Abraham Polanski. Force of Evil came out in 1948, and right after that, Abe Polanski was blacklisted, which meant he was more or less kept out of the movie business. For political reasons, all the studios stopped hiring people who were connected or accused of being connected with the Communist Party in the United States. It was a terrible time in this country where we all take pride in the amount of freedom we enjoy. It was truly a shameful, disgraceful episode, and it, it ruined Abe Polanski's career. But fortunately, he got this movie made before it all came down. I was quoting those lines at the beginning because Force of Evil is probably as quotable as any movie you could name. And that's because Abe Polanski was such a gifted writer with the ability to express ideas in such a vivid way, and with a clarity that made the words fresh and exciting. He wasn't afraid to use true literary style in what was really a crime picture. The thing is that in 1948, Force of Evil was seen as a routine crime movie. It came out, did a little business, and was mostly forgotten about. And it wasn't until many years later, in the 1960s, that critics here, and especially in Europe, started to rediscover this movie and realize how special it was. Now, I ought to warn you, you really have to pay attention. Force of Evil hits the ground running, and you could miss some great stuff if you're not focused. There's a lot packed into every scene, every line. It's been said that this movie was written in blank verse, in a form of non-rhyming poetry, and I'm not sure you could do a whole script that way, but... But Force of Evil has that sense of poetry, that kind of resonance in the things people say. The direction's marvelous by Abe Polanski, and the star is John Garfield. Now, if you haven't seen Garfield, this is a great introduction, because he was an important actor. I mean, he came out of the group theater, came out of that movement in New York in the 1930s. He was the star of the very famous original version of The Postman Always Rings Twice. You know, Garfield was kind of a bridge between the early movie tough guys, James Cagney, Humphrey Bogart, and the new wave of actors in the 50s like Montgomery Clift and Marlon Brando and James Dean. A lot of nice crime technology bits in the movie like wiretapping and rigged horse races. It revolves around the numbers racket, which was a big and controversial gambling business, so the whole thing was very cutting edge at the time. And all that stuff still works, but the stunning thing is the poetry. Years later, Polanski said he was afraid he might never get to direct again, so he wanted to make every moment in the film count. And I think he did, and I'm glad you'll get to see it. Abe Polanski's Force of Evil.